Hey guys, in this 3DS Max tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to set up your viewport um, so that you have reference images uh, such as blueprints to work against when modeling a any 3D object. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight in and a few things first, you need to pick a weapon or um, whatever you do, you need to pick the specific one. You, um, you can't just type in like M9 on Google search and get all the images because there's probably different variations, sizes, makes, models, etc. So you want to find a specific make model and um, collect as many reference images as you can. As you can see here for the Desert Eagle I have uh, a fair few. Um, basically you just need ones that are of every angle so you can see what you're looking at and when you're in 3ds Max you need to be looking around seeing what uh, angles are at so if I just cycle through here you can see all kinds of different angles close-ups <coughs> so um, the first thing you want to do is get a uh, sort of blueprint image and this one's a perfect example Excuse me. that one um, it has the side view straight on and it has a front view and when you're looking for reference images like this the blueprints you must find one that um, has two different angles just having the side it, to me is useless because I don't know how deep the gun is I don't know I don't quite know the curves of this or how it um, tapers in towards the top up here so having a uh, side view and another view even a top view, a uh, bottom up, from the back, from the front, anything. But as long as you've got two views, it is, um, I would consider perfect for this task. So, I'm, I've already opened this up in Photoshop. And basically, you want to sort of cut it into two I images. So, grab your selection tool here. I'm um, just use the rectangular marquee tool. And I'm just going to cut sort of this into two pictures there we go uh, image crop and I'm going to file save as this uh, underscore side ok and then I'm just going to undo twice and deselect and then highlight this side and image crop file save as I'm going to call this underscore front ok and that is done with Photoshop so you can close that out and here you can see there's the original image and I have two new images here so inside uh, 3ds Max what you want to do is sort of pick make sure your viewports are configured so here you've got top view here you've got front view and left so what I'm going to do is in the left viewport I'm going to take a standard primitive of a plane and I'm just going to draw it out sort of in the middle of the grid now what you want to do is come to the modify panel and here you see length this is the height and width that's obviously the width so if you do, if you still don't quite know which um, which one it does just you know play around with it and then you can see which value affects which uh, dimension so here we have just, I want to have updated excuse me here we have the uh, side view and as you can see its dimensions is 536 by 325 so it's uh, 536 width so I'm going to type in here 536 and in its height I'm going to type in what was it again 325 so 325 and you might have to zoom out quite a bit and that is quite large compared to the grid and for now I'm just going to hide the grid by pressing G so that is the side view done so what you want to do is take that reference image and simply just drag and drop it on top now I'm going to do one the same for the front and this is a thin one so you got to choose the right uh, 
perspective. So I'm guessing. Let's look on your left on. Okay, so I'm just going to sort of draw a plane uh, that way. All right. Let's have a quick look at where this is. Where's that gone? Oh no, my bad. Delete that out. What you want to do is have it in. I'm just going to change front. In fact, that's right front, excuse me. <laughs> so plane. Just gonna draw it like that, just give it a rough dimensions. And as you can see, it's uh sort of the other side of it, so you wanna just move it into position. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna just turn on smooth plus highlights instead of wireframe. So I can actually see the picture in the viewport. So I'm just going to reset the height by right clicking on the up and down arrow. I'm just going to take it sort of to here. Up there. And again in the length and width section. Copy over the so it's got a width of 64. So width 64 and consequently a height of 325 so it's, it's almost there and again like you did before drag and drop the image onto it and what you might want to do is it doesn't really matter how far apart they are but that is pretty much touching I wouldn't recommend doing that because you want to have sort of free movement to spin around and see the other side of the gun so just drag it out a bit to like around here and when you first start off you're not going to be working in the perspective viewport you're going to be working here in the left viewport or the right depending on how you have it set up um, one other thing you need to do is come up to customize and then come down to preferences and then in viewports you want to under the viewports tab you want to come down to uh, configure driver and make sure that 1024 and 512 is set for both of these and click OK and once you do that it'll ask you to rest you'll have to restart or it'll just update automatically so I'm just going to quickly go through the fundamentals of starting this gun so um, people have different techniques this is my technique I start out with a standard box primitive and in the left viewport so it's all perfectly uh, aligned I just draw out the basic shape of the barrel and as you know on a Desi Eagle the barrel is two separate shapes so what you want to do is just draw it out roughly and like I said in this viewport you can then take it in front and basically you need to be working in edit poly mode so convert to edit editable poly and here you can select the vertices of the objects so if I scroll in here I can grab the corner and I can move it around so I'd probably put it there grab that one bring it up and then the same for this corner so as you can see in this viewport it is almost is the pretty much the roughest shape of the gun obviously you'd extend it upwards to create the top part and you could extend it down to here but the primary thing you need to do is to sort of divide the gun up into uh, objects in your head so if I get a better view of this gun um, that'll do so as you can see um, you've got the handle which is all around here back to here and it comes all the way along and sort of ends here and it's sort of like up inside the gun then you've got the um, chamber which is around here in the barrel that's all one piece and then you've also got the um, sort of the rest of the barrel which uh, recoils back so it's a separate object and other things like the trigger 
and uh, maybe the iron sights but they aren't uh, the fundamental shapes of the gun so I hope this helped guys um, if you want to see any more 3ds tutorials just uh, let me know